In today's video, I'm gonna be rebuilding Chelsea, but with youth players only. And Golo Conte, although he's the nicest person on the planet, Thank you. he's 30 years old, so we've binned him. Thank you. Jorginho, Aspeliqueta, Romelu Lukaku, all of them gone. Get the f*** out of here! And now we gotta take this squad to a Champions League final and win it with a 56 rated keeper. What have I gotten myself into? It's another day at the office. We can only sign players aged 23 or younger. So if we wanna sign Mbappe, technically we can. But if we wanna sign Ronaldo, we can't. He's 36. I deserve. We'll be starting with 50 million and every season our budget gets increased by 10 million to help us out with the challenge. Get to work. All right, let's take Bergstrom and the rest of this Chelsea team to a Champions League final in this U3 build. Let's go. Also, boys, if you like what you see on the channel, I'd appreciate if you could spare a second and drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's go. Season one begins now, and I'm so happy we're keeping the likes of Guy Havertz, because he's 22, Mason Mount as well as 22. We're going to try and convert him to a center mid. Hudson Adoy, Pulisic, I've recalled Broha. This team's got talent, boys. It's, it's certainly got talent. Reese James is well in there. It's the goalkeeper position. That's terrible. We need to change that. Love the fact that we've got Gilmore and Gallagher. Squad depth is a bit... No, it's awful. It's awful. Let me be real. But I think we can solve that with the 50 million we're getting. Let's see what can be done. Quick disclaimer, I'm making my manager rating 99. Otherwise, this challenge, we're just going to keep getting sacked because the board expect us to, like, win the Champions League in our first season with a 56 rated keeper. And that ain't happening. So, mods saving us. Such a shame we won't have Mendy for this challenge, boys. He's, he's probably one of my favorite keepers in the world right now. But he's 29. He's been binned. Guys, I think I found the man for the job for the goalkeeper position. Luis Maximiano. Looks decent. In nine days, we'll get a scouting report on him. Let's see if we can bring him in. Don't want to spend too much on a keeper because I reckon we're in need of a quality left back as well. Maybe even a CDM. So let's see. If we can get a good price for our keeper, I think we're looking nice. I'm going to try 21 million. Remember, just 50 million to spend. We might be getting a little more through season ticket sales. There's that. But 21 million, we can see the deal for him. Ah, they won 33. That's gonna leave us with barely any cash for other positions. Oh boy, we're gonna counter this. We wanna make this maybe 26 million. We'll go slow, we'll increase it. 26 million, they won 33, but we need a good keeper. Luis Maximiano, I think, is the man for the job. 28 million's gonna be my next offer. Ah, come on. Let, let's try and meet at 30. Come on, please. 30 million for the goalkeeper. He's 22, we can sign him. They're not willing to budge. You know what? We'll just have to run with it, because I need the goalkeeper. Our first First signing of this save is done. Luis Maximiano joins 33.6 million, 78 rated. I think he's going to really improve the team, especially over that 56 rated keeper, who will still keep as a backup option, but I'm glad now we've got that sorted. Next up, it's the left back position we need to target. That's a must. For the left back, we can go for a low rated player because I've noticed they just skyrocket in their overall anyway. So Ryan Aitnori is the man I want to go for. If we can get him on a deal, oh, that'd be brilliant. Nah, there's no deals happening in here. We'll have to just reduce it. 16 million is going to be my next offer. 22. That's not going to be possible. 22 is just not possible. We'll have to counter with 18. That itself is draining so much of our money. Everything's non-negotiable, man. At least meet us somewhere midway. 19.5 is going to be my counter. Nah. We'll have to end negotiations for now. I can't afford this. We need the season ticket money. By the way, did I mention we've got a baller in Louis Smiles from our academy? Homegrown player. 17 23 rated already as a striker. This is, he's the truth. He is the truth, guys. We've got a backup for Alejandro Broja and possibly a player better than him as well as my phone's going off. Well, let's promote him to the senior team. Yo, Luis Smiles goes straight on the bench. That's gonna be clutch, by the way. Love the haircut he's got. Um, that's our striker position sorted. We just need a left back somehow. I think the season ticket money has come in. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it hasn't. It needs to come in soon enough, man, because we need the money. It hasn't, I think. I'm not sure. Sure. I'm really not sure. Regardless, we've got a cup final. The UEFA Super Cup final. There's no way we're winning this. There's absolutely no way. What? We just won the UEFA Super Cup with a very average team. Villarreal modded. Let's go first trophy already. Wow. Yes, lads. The season ticket money has come in. Now we're talking. Now let's see how Wolves stop us from taking Ike Nori. Come on. Okay. They wanted 22. If we can get a better deal this time... 
I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Are they stupid? Now that we've more money than asking less from us, but hey, we'll, we'll accept it. Who cares? There you go, accepting the Ait Nori deal, and that's a couple of our transfers done. We don't really have money for anything more. Maybe we can sign a youngster or two. Let me just think. Now nah, we'll keep it as is. Only a couple of signings for the first window. Ait Nori and Maximiano. We're trusting the existing youth of Chelsea, which isn't too bad, to be fair. Mount, Havertz, Hudson, Adoy, all I think are going to be key, key players for us. So that's how it's looking like right now. Let's go through the first season. How are we going to finish? I'm curious to find out. My prediction is we should be able to get top half of the table. Let's see. We're at the end of the season and let's see where we finish in the Premier League. My prediction is top half of the table, but you know what? I was seeing through the simulation and I saw a fair few wins. So I'm thinking maybe top six, maybe top four. Let's see. We're in the top half of the table. That's confirmed. And we're going to be eighth in the Premier League. Okay, that's not too bad with a year really young squad. Man City end up winning the league. We're on 51 points. No European football for us next season. Opportunity to build, I guess. What about the cup competition? City win that too. Man City are on a roll. We finished second in our Champions League group, but at least we get through to the round of 16 where we knocked out Dortmund. Wow. We knocked out Atalanta. We're in the semi-finals of the Champions League, but that's where it ends. Otherwise, we could have wrapped up this challenge in one season. Well, we got knocked out by City, and that means there is going to be a season two, of course. But look at the rating. Sky Havertz, Mount Pulisic. All these players have made this challenge so easy. I'm not going to lie. I think in a few seasons, we'll be done because the amount of youngsters this Chelsea team has got is crazy. Like, imagine having Conor Gallagher st sitting on the bench. Billy Gilmore, I think, should now start over on Fadu. Changed a few player positions, but this team's looking solid, man. I reckon three, four seasons, and we're going to win the Champions League. Let's look at the stats as well. Season one's been an absolute success. Broha, top scorer with 31. Havertz scoring 19 times. Pulisic as well. Miles going up by 8 ratings from the academy, of course. Not too bad. Solid season all round. Time for season 2. I kind of want to get through this challenge with the least amount of signings as possible because I think this first team in a few seasons, like if we can, you know, get these players their max potential, it's going to win us the Champions League. We've got everything in this midfield. Just need Gilmore to grow in his overall a little bit. I've made him a CDM, by the way. Love the wingers we've got. Chelsea have just got such good young talent at their club. I'm thinking we could replace Malang Saad if we wanted the back, make him like a backup player. But do we even need to do that? I don't think so. I think it's all about just getting a bit of squad depth now. I'm thinking this season we'll sign maybe like a left winger for backup. That's one of the options. Um, maybe a fullback for backup. That's all I can think of right now. Everything else this team has. Budget of, of course, 60 million to spend this season. I'm on the verge of signing a backup left winger. Mikel Damsgaard, a player a lot of people have been telling me that you should sign. You should try out in career mode. I just never end up signing him. So finally, in this Chelsea U3 build, we're signing Mikel Damsgaard. He's 22. And there you go. The deal is done. Let's see his overall right now. 78 rated. That's not too bad. I think squad depth is what's holding this team back. So let's quickly try and make him a left winger as well. Should take only a couple of weeks. That's sorted. Let's put him on the bench and see how we're looking like. Bench is where this team kind of just goes a bit sad to be honest. But putting Damsgaard in there it's honestly not too bad. Like really. Now I'm on the hunt for a backup fullback. Luke Thomas from Leicester City is who I've found to be really decent. We can get him on a good deal. That should be fine. There you go. Now we're talking squad depth really being improved this season. Confirming the signing of Luke Thomas right now. There you go. Don't think I want to make any more signings this season. I just want to see the squad grow. That's what these challenges are all about. I think we'll put him instead of Barlow there. And we're now looking fantastic. This bench. Reckon a backup keeper soon could be the play. But for now, I love the look of this bench. The first team looks amazing. Just need Gilmore to start, you know, growing fast. And we're sorted. Look at the team, man. Honestly, let's get through this season and find our way back into the Champions League. I reckon since we aren't in the Champions League this season, we've got a good shot at maybe even winning the Premier League because this squad's crazy good. The fact that Chelsea have got almost six, seven world-class players who are like super young and good to go has made this challenge a breeze. Slowly but surely, we're climbing back up. We've secured a Champions League spot for next season. I'm surprised we didn't give much of a fight for like second place or something. Leicester City finishing above us, but hey, we did finish above Man United. Any of the cups going our way? Not the FA Cup, nor the Carabao Cup. Red 
Reading, meaning that Spurs can't even beat Reading in a Carabao Cup final. Yikes. It's the history of the Tottenham. Oh, look at that player growth. Broha up to an 85. That's illegal. Billy Gilmore needs to speed things up, man, in terms of growth. Otherwise, we might just get rid of him and bring in a proper CDM. Same with Saar. What's up with him? Didn't grow a single rating. Has he maxed out his potential? Maybe those are a few areas we need to look at. But Luke Thomas grew well. Damsgaard did well. That's not too bad. Who will his edge top scorer? Broha just stopped scoring this season compared to last time around. He still went up by four. Havertz again, solid season. Pulisic was the man though. 89 rated. Havertz as well. These two balling out. Time for season three. Back in the big leagues in the Champions League. Okay, guys, I've got a ridiculous idea. Matthias Dillick is 23. We can sign him now, but he's worth 90 million. Let's add him into our transfer hub right now. Our budget for this season, since it's season three, is about 70 million. But I'm thinking if we do like a swap deal with Saar involved, might just be possible. What a signing this would be. It's only possible, guys, because his contract's expiring. Let's use swap deal. We put Malang Saar in it as well. We offer, say, 65 and just see what they say. Look at this, it's worked. We're getting Matthias de Ligt and never expected a youth rebuild challenge to be signing a player of this caliber. This has been a breeze. There you go. De Ligt should be ours. Well, it's clear we're not making any more signings this season, but we don't need to. We've just signed Matthias de Ligt. Sa wasn't growing. Made sense to trade him for de Ligt. I don't know how we pulled that off. And look at that. His valuation has gone up to like 101 million. We'll put development plans on him as well, just to make him even more OP. Guys, the team we've got, the best bench we've got i reckon we're good enough to win the champions league now like I, I genuinely feel it like honestly we just need billy gilmore's growth to speed up a bit this season and we're good to go let's see how season three goes for us there we go guys we're number one in england we've just won the premier league in three seasons only signing under 23 players and a limit on our spending not too bad guys 89 points solid season to win the league and i'm pretty sure we won a few cup competitions we won the FA Cup as well. What about the Carabao Cup? We win that. It's a domestic rebel. Now, Champions League. We finished second in our group, which is a bit of a bummer, but we managed to get through Atletico Madrid. That's a dub. We got through Liverpool on pens, but in the semi-finals, uh -huh. Barcelona got the better of us. Otherwise, we would have recreated the 2012 Champions League final, which would have been great. Ligue has been fantastic once again. We're just missing a little bit, guys. Just a little bit. And I reckon in a few seasons, we should be there. By the way, look at Gilmore. Um, he needs to, you know, up that player growth. That's that's one thing we need to see. And uh, the only thing, I guess, that's holding us back. Otherwise, we're good. Who is our top scorer this season? Let's see. Broha with a monster season. 45 goals. Are you actually kidding me? How did he only go up by a couple of ratings? Oh, we need to change the development plan on him. That, that should sort him out. But what a season for him. I don't know why, guys. Billy Gilmore and Ampadu, I think, have maxed out their potential. I'm seeing their player growth here. It'll still take about 45 weeks, basically a season, to get them to increase in their overall. So I guess for season four, we're going to have to sacrifice one of them and bring in a CDM, because that's the only thing that's left in this squad. The rest of the squad is honestly insane. We get that CDM and we're balling. We're rocking with about 80 million this season to spend. Shouldn't be a problem getting that CDM, I guess. Onana, a Belgian player for from, of course, League 1 could be the man. He's currently still playing for Lille. I don't know what his overall and all can be, but he seems to be too cheap. We'll just pay the release clause and get this done because we got the money. I think he could be the man to replace Gilmore or Ampadu. Let's see. Yo, I think he might be even worse than what we have, like in terms of overall. I'm not too sure, man, but the options of signings reduce as we go through seasons because the younger players get older and you can't sign them because they're above 23. But he's also 78. I think we've messed up here guys we've now got three cdms with the same overall don't know what we're gonna do anyways that's how our team's gonna look like only the one signing i think that's all we need let's see if this is the season we can win the champions league let's go season four and we win the premier league again love to see that back to back now we lost the community shield though to city no fa cup no carabao cup champions league we finished second in our group okay um we knocked out real madrid we got knocked out by city oh it's taken a bit of a grind to get to that champions league final. Okay, Onana was a good signing. He sorted out that CDM position for us. Just need a bit more growth. I don't know what's lacking here. I think it's just bad luck. Next season, I think we should be in the Champions League final. Let's see who are the top scorers for us here. Broha again, the man for the job. Let's go.
Nah, guys, there's something wrong with this team. We need to be winning the Champions League. Now, enough's enough. It's time to get to that final. Like, look at the overalls in the place. The backup, the depth is there. I'm not making any signings anymore. I'm just smashing through this season. We need to be in the Champions League final. Sporting versus Chelsea first. Like, the team is too good. If we get knocked out of Sporting, there's a problem. Just about managed to win this. Second leg against Sporting. And this might be a bit of a problem. No, it isn't. There you go. We're through. Oh, we've on Real Madrid. Are you kidding me? But our squad, I think, is much better than Real Madrid right now. So, I'm positive. Fingers crossed. There you go. Hudson Adoy scoring the winner. Off we go against Real Madrid. Second leg. We won 2-1 in the first leg at the bridge. We win 2-1 again. Broja scoring a brace. Semi-finals. I'm feeling this is the season. Guys, I feel like the luck's in. Juventus in the semi-finals. I think we can get this done. Should be a bit tricky, but it's, it's still, I think, our team is much better than theirs, and that shows we've smashed them 3-0 in the first leg. I'm just going to directly sim the second leg because it's over. They're not coming back from this. We lost the game, but it's fine. Atletico Madrid in the Champions League final. And we also managed to win the FA Cup on penalties. Premier League in the bag again. Three seasons in a row. We've done it. Let's go. We won the Community Shield. Nah, Arsenal won that. But I'm pretty sure we did win the FA Cup. The mighty Carabao Cup goes to City. And of course, we're in the Champions League final against Atleti. Oh, look at that team. Oh, no, no, I didn't grow all that much this season. What's up with our CDMs not growing? I don't get it. Ampadu grew fairly well, but I guess we'll use Onana. Team's good. I think we've built a solid team here. Oh, look at the stats. Broha and Pulisic. My days. Wow. Let's also take a look at how many players there were here from the get-go. Broha was Havertz, Pulisic, Mount, hudson Adoy, Rhys James, Chaloba. Wow. So we've like only signed four players outside of the initial Chelsea squad. Goes to show how much talent they have. Let's Let's wrap this up, boys. Chelsea versus Atleti. Michael Essien on the T4 here. Wow, okay. Well, let's win the Champions League for him then. Yo, the players we've got are so cracked. Alejandro Broja is an absolute unit, by the way, in this side. 95 rated. Look at him. Look at this. Look at this players. Okay, well, he didn't do anything there. Okay, Felix has just turned me looking for that pass. Good stuff, Chalaba. What's happening here? My keeper just went down there. Graven Birch. Good defending, but that was a bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Mason Mount, I see space, I see space, go on, 95 rated Broha with a chance to score, difficult angle. And all black has made it even more difficult, good save. By Havertz to put it in, it's, it's looking decent, well not really, Mount. Goes for Pulisic here, what can we do with the American dream? Good run, cut back for, who is that even, Reese James I think? Couldn't score, though. Oh, that's a lovely ball for Christian Pulisic here. We're going to sidestep inside. It's brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Christian Pulisic there. The dribble of dreams. The way he just sidestep past a couple of players. Lovely. Look at the dribble, boys. He first took it right, then just, just shimmied into the left. There was no chance the defender was doing anything about it. Bang. 1-0. Oh, that's a good pass for Broha. I'm going to square this one for Kai Havertz. And there you go. We've made it 2-0. Atletico Madrid in the mud. That was pretty easy. Look at King Kai Havertz doing a break dance to celebrate. Wow. Our team is too OP. Atletico just can't compete. They don't have the quality we have. Like, 95 rated players in our team, boys. Like, yeah, our right back is virtually 90 rated or something. Look at that. It's... It's a bit too much to handle for Atletico. Okay, maybe not. Atletico trying to come back into this game. It's two Ram. Looking for the cutback for Gerard Moreno. Shoots and well, Atletico Madrid are back in it. Well, they're not going to be as easy to defeat as we thought. Opening up a bit of space. Finesse short. Outrageous from Mason Mount. That might be one of the best goals I've scored in this fixing challenge series. All the way from FIFA 21, 22, whatever you want to call it. Unbelievable, man. Mason Mount, what a screamer. Pick that one out. Look at that for a goal. Wow. Pulisic is trying something and it's working. How is that not a foul? We still have a chance here. Hudson Adoy. Finesse shot. Oblak is insane. This would have been game over without him. Guys, these players at their max potential are genuinely insane. Like the passing and everything. Kai Havertz going for goal. That, if that would have gone, it would have been epic. Oh, Hudson Adoy's won that. We could be scoring another one. Looking for the ball back in for Kai Havertz. What's he trying to do here? I just... Okay. Oh, that should be another goal for Kai Havertz. Yeah, should be a simple one. Lovely played falls for Pulisic. And he gets the goal instead. 4-1. It's over. Full time. There you go. You dribbled with Chelsea complete. Took us five seasons. 
But that's because we can't add him in to use the players we already had. But still, was it lost to do? Champions League winners. Chelsea need this because they might have to do the U3 build in real life with the way things are going. With, you know all the ownership and everything but yeah we got the job done drop a like on the video if you enjoyed this boy subscribe if you're new around here and i'll catch you guys for the next one peace